briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A 1998 case heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit, Unsecured Creditors Committee of Highland Superstores, Inc. v. Strobeck Real Estate, Inc., in Re Highland Superstores, Inc., centered on the calculation of a landlord's damages due to a tenant's breach of a commercial lease during bankruptcy proceedings. The case arose when Highland Superstores, a commercial tenant of Strobeck Real Estate, filed for bankruptcy and rejected their lease, resulting in a breach of contract. Strobeck subsequently leased the property to Sims Corporation and filed a proof of claim for damages. The Unsecured Creditors Committee initially denied the claim, only for it to be reversed on appeal. The district court reversed a bankruptcy court judgment, finding that Strobeck suffered no actual damages. Upon appeal, the court followed a four-step process under Section 502 B. 6 of the Bankruptcy Code to determine the allowable lessor's rejection damage claim. Rejecting the committee's new approach and the use of equitable principles, the court upheld the widely accepted rule that damages should be based on lease terms and state law, applying only one discount rate for future rental streams. Split the text above into sentences. Identify the most important physical item or profession in the sentence. If there is no physical item or profession, then use a physical good or profession from a different sentence. Suggest a physical good or profession that could represent justice or the court. Avoid suggesting anything sexual, text, logos, signs, documents, words, symbols, hands, feet, or anything abstract. Don't repeat images across sentences. Describe the image in five, eight words. Format your response in JSON. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.